My name is Ron Nagy. I am general manager here at MPI in Wadsworth, Ohio. Uh, originally, I uh, founded, uh, which was Label Tech, uh, about uh, 27 years ago. And uh, about three now, three and a half years, we decided to partner with MPI. We run here three ships, uh, and we have two facilities, one flexographic, the other one digital. Both have contributed very well to the overall MPI organization. One of the uniquenesses of MPI is we have 11 plants. Uh, they're all individually in terms of their own management, and they work well in terms of the people they have in their organization and their core competency. MPI has put together, I think, a very strong, formable team of people. With that comes almost a kind of a family organization that promotes and gives people the desire to innovate and to, and to work together to really bring greater benefits to the marketplace. Every day, the market's changing, people are changing, uh, needs are changing. And with that, what we're looking at is how do we analyze that, then how do we incorporate innovation into that? We went with the full color, seven color, uh, TAW 330, which allowed us to hit the largest color gamut. Color was important. So we went to a dual laser. Uh, but then the thought was to add on semi-rotary in addition to a sheeter. This allows us to be able to supply a customer with a variety of options. So if we want to go digital, we can go digital and laser or digital and semi-rotary and sheeter or any combination of those. That gives us the highest return and maximum the value for the customer. I'm Brian Conrad. I'm the territory manager at MPI Label Tech's Wadsworth, Ohio plant. There's several things in the marketplace that are driving customer productivity. And the thing that we're trying to give our customers now is faster time to market with more innovation than they've had available before in the past. Our customers have always had to buy a certain quantity to get a good price and they've always had lots of inventory sitting on the shelf. The fact that we've designed our whole operation here to be scalable from a short run sales sample, short run market test, through product rollout, on up to 250 to 500,000 to a million quantity and then back down again is unique. We've tried to make this very seamless so the customer can have a digital product to start with that looks fantastic and then scale that up to Flexo without changing the appearance to get the same look so that if those products are literally on the shelf next to each other, the consumer doesn't see that variance. Nobody ever said, do it fast and do it wrong. But unfortunately, we see a lot of that these days. Folks are rushing to do a competitive response to something that's in the market instead of innovating themselves and being the first out there with something. So in those cases, they get caught with certain errors that they might have in the package, or they have to change ingredients on something, or whatever it happens to be. So now, what do we do with this inventory that we purchased that was part of the initial run. It goes in the dumpster and it's time to replace it with the next thing. Well now, you only order what you need to order to get started and then if you need to make a change on the fly, you do that at virtually no cost at all. You send us a new file, it becomes part of the next package design and out it goes with the next order. And that process is, is extremely reduced in time frame. So they don't have to pay for plates, they don't have to pay for dies, they just make the change, send us the file, and we submit it to production for the next run. Right now, um, health and beauty, nutraceutical, durable goods like lawn and garden, uh, commercial, industrial, all types of food products, there's almost not an industry category that can't take advantage of this. The challenge is getting people to think differently than they thought before. The, the key thing for people is to understand that now you can go out and grow your business, get into markets you haven't been in before, do customer specific or retail specific versioning of your products at a very low cost without having to buy big volumes to do that. This is a whole paradigm shift. We're changing the way that packaging comes to market by doing this this way. 
So all of a sudden now we're not just finding the lowest cost label to put on your existing package, we're saying, okay, now I can think about doing a specific version for this retail customer or that retail customer that might be a different color, different shape, different size, without having to make a big investment in the pre-press costs that traditionally are out there with flexography. Digital is fantastic technology, but I think also what's part of it is how you manage the technology. Number one, why are you looking at digital? You have to know your market. Two is the people that you have and how responsive they will be to this new technology. And three is how you're going to present that to the marketplace. Uh, digital is its unique approach to printing and it has many qualities. I think it brings, interesting enough, some simplicity to a complex market, but also it has to be able to be understandable. You have to work with it, but I think the benefits are overwhelming. By going to Europe uh, and going to the DERS organization as well as the research center in Austria, it allowed me to, to really grasp the essence of, of the complete capability of DERS. What was beneficial for me is actually seeing the corporation and seeing how much technology that they had put in. It was, it was really amazing. And the number of people that are dedicated, uh, seeing how they expanded and innovated uh, their business that incorporated uh, digital, not only in the printing market, but in so many other facets, and the experience that they had was pretty assuring. And one of the things that when I was looking amongst uh, alternatives in the digital market was the relationship of Durst and our company. And again, that proved to be very strong and continues to be strong up until this day. They obviously have brought a great deal of technology to us, we in turn have been able to be right with them, in fact, almost pushing them a little bit because of all the things that they have envisioned as well. And so we're already on the next step, on the next level of looking at some new and exciting things. I think Durst is making a name for themselves. We've realized that through the material manufacturers that we've dealt with. We're not out necessarily to sell Durst or to sell the Tau. We're out to sell innovation, we're out to sell new packaging design, creativity, and market growth for our customers. We go to customers today with some of the new things that we've been able to do with the Tau and say it's okay to dream a little bit. There are things that you can do faster, easier, at a lower cost than you've ever been able to do before. Packaging can be run-of-the-mill or it can be exciting. We're giving them a chance to do something exciting.